Today is a solemn day for Christians all over the world. Good Friday commemorates the crucifixion of Christ and today we take a look at what some countries do on this day. Welcome to Kaleidoscope with me Savitri Rodrigo where right here in Sri Lanka in the little hamlet of Duva in Nigambo is an enactment of what is now known as the greatest passion play in Asia with a history of over 400 years. It was originally enacted only with statues but now has over 250 actors. As we move into the program on our Empower News capsule, we learn about inclusive capitalism and get on point for autism, go bat it glam in Life in 60 and talk to the woman on Mars on Selinko Life Let's Talk, plus some interesting tidbits on our Empower snapshot from the week that was. We begin our Empower snapshot in the backdrop of how Spain commemorates Good Friday. Residents of the little town of Hirandela in China wear period clothing and watch the re-enactment of the crucifixion. And now, on to our Empower Snapshot. The rupee hit a new low this week, depreciating by 6.3% against the US dollar and sliding to a new low of over 202 rupees. Inflation year-on-year -year in March rose to 4.1%. The World Bank is optimistic that South Asia will have a robust recovery of 7.2% in 2021. Bank of Ceylon becomes the first Sri Lankan bank to achieve a 3 trillion rupee asset base. And in a landmark deal, Blackstone Group, the 620 billion US dollar investment company, acquired Pirama Glass Ceylon for 6.2 billion rupees this week. Pet bottles, disposable polythene and plastic cotton buds and inflatable plastic toys are among items banned from the 31st of March this year. Cyclotron-based radio pharmaceuticals which are used for PET and CT tests to diagnose cancers are to be produced in Sri Lanka. Selinko Life was crowned Slim People's Life Insurance Provider of the Year for a record 15 years, the only life insurer to win this award every year since the inception of the awards. And Lewis Hamilton is the highest paid F1 driver in the 2021 season with a $30 million salary. With Empower Capital as your investment solutions partner, your investment allocation will be determined by financial intelligence and not emotion. Empower Capital, building relationships in for the long term. Welcome back. It's time for our Empower News Capsule. Our backdrop takes us to Jerusalem where people go on pilgrimage to Golgotha where Jesus' crucifixion took place. In the evening, a funeral procession follows reenacting the burial of Jesus. The Ceylon Chamber of Commerce held its 17th Best Corporate Citizen Sustainability Awards this week and CBL Investments gained the highest accolade as the Best Corporate Citizen 2020 with Aitken Spence and Commercial Bank coming in as first and second runners-up. Dilma won the Best Corporate Citizen Award for a company under 15 billion rupees. In an exclusive with Kaleidoscope, Chairman of the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce, Dr. Hans Vijay Surya, stated the importance of inclusive capitalism if national growth is to be achieved. Inclusive capitalism, also referred to as stakeholder capitalism, is a thesis which negates the contradiction between capital growth motives and social development outcomes. Growth models which are inclusive would seek to ensure that the economic impact and benefits of downstream products, services and employment, as well as their secondary and tertiary multiplies, are shared plurally across as many stakeholder segments and citizens as possible. Through this approach, the seemingly conflicting object of capital growth versus outreach, as well as capital growth versus social and environmental contribution, are no longer compartmentalized. They are now integrated within a single-minded ethos of growing business by doing so with an objective of delivering a positive impact, which is as plural and widespread as possible. Still on the subject of responsible corporates, Sri Lanka's Eco Spindles has been ranked among the top 10 recycling heroes of 2021 by the Global Recycling Foundation. Eco Spindles plays a substantial role in influencing the collection of waste pet plastic bottles, recycling and creating value-added products including polyester yarn and monofilaments. While Asian markets edged higher this week, the Colombo stock market too has been seeing better trends compared to last week. 
This week was slightly positive with the All Share Price Index up by 1.7% and the average daily turnover increasing to 2.7 billion rupees. Price optimism has returned to the oil market with WTI oil stabilizing at around 60 US dollars per barrel. Gold prices are still struggling this week, currently trading around 1,713 US dollars per ounce, close to a six month low. About two years ago, Sesame Street introduced Julia, a Muppet with autism, to help children and adults understand why people with autism seem different. Even though autism affects more and more children the world over, there still is little awareness about autism spectrum disorder. So with World Autism Day falling today, the 2nd of April, the ballet school Colombo decided to use the medium of dance to try and change that perception. Here's director Tara Cook in an exclusive for Kaleidoscope. Discovering the benefits of dance, I would say, is very much an ongoing thing because ever so often we would see medical professionals turn to dance as a form of therapy or rehabilitation for a number of medical conditions and disorders. Autism is one of them where it has allowed children with ASD to express themselves better through movement and expressions. It has also proven that it helps improve their attention and concentration. And on top of that, it helps improve social interaction skills through the different group activities and the dance projects that are done in class. Which is why we at the Ballet School of Colombo, we very strongly believe that dance is not just recreational. It's a remedy for anything really. And if you're into a bit of bling, let's visit Christie's magnificent jewels auction in Geneva and see a sparkling set of 38 Ceylon sapphires which were used to create a perio belonging to Napoleon's adoptive daughter, the Grand Duchess of Baden in the early 1800s. Let's see Mica and Ariel at your service. The Hotel Sky in Johannesburg is the newest to introduce robot concierge services to ensure strict COVID protocols. Welcome to the world of robot hospitality. And that ends our Empower News capsule. But do stay on because there is a woman on Mars. Coming up on Selinko Life, let's talk. With Selinko Life Pension Saver, Sri Lanka's premier retirement plan, start planning for a retirement today. Selinko Life, a relationship for life. Becoming a real-life rocket engineer might be a faraway dream for some, but for Melanie Maharachi, who went to the US with her husband and two young children, it was truly a dream come true. A prolific mechanical, robotics and rocket engineer, she got her degree in mechanical engineering from UCLA, landed her first job at SpaceX, was handpicked by Elon Musk to work on a secret project, after which she joined Boeing and then NASA, where she worked on the Mars Rover 2020 mission. That rover that landed on Mars this year holds Melanie's designs. And being the woman she is, not only did she complete her MBA from Cambridge University, Judge Business School, she also founded iSTEM Without Borders, a not-for-profit to empower women in STEM. On holiday in Sri Lanka, she came into the Kaleidoscope studio for a brief chat with me. Here's former NASA engineer Melanie Maharachi on Selling for Life. Let's talk. So Melanie, you have been with Boeing, then you moved on to NASA, working in space literally. Uh, why space? Why rockets instead of airplanes? So we took a trip to DC, Washington DC, and we took our kids to Smithsonian uh, Museum. And we watched this documentary about the spirit opportunity, I don't remember exactly, 2004 which landed. It was a small half an hour documentary. And I still remember the whole um, you know, the documentary about the scientists talking about how they kind of build this rover. So I stood there, thought to myself, I want to be in that movie. I want to do the same. So that engraved in my brain so much, I completely overlooked <laughs> the aircrafts and I straight away went into rockets. So your designs are in space. Are you already on Mars? Yes. We just landed on the 18th of February. Now I can brag, very humbly brag, that my designs are in Mars. Now the ones that 
some of the designs I actually with my two hands we build um, with my two hands we integrated design for years and years now they are in Mars. So you left Sri Lanka quite late in life considering um, it's a different culture when you have to go look for a job so to speak and find a career how did you uh, how important was adaptability at that point? I look at how I see the world I don't put myself in boxes. I'm a woman, I'm older, I'm a mother. Uh, I don't put myself in a box. So um, I keep myself very fluid. First stop discriminating yourself in your head. The moment you start putting these boundaries and constraints, then the rest of the world see that and or others see that, others perceive how you see yourself. Uh, so that becomes an obstacle. You founded iSTEM Without Borders to empower women in STEM. What is your message to women in STEM? My advice to women in STEM is just like our mothers, grandmothers, who fought for our women's rights long time, few, few of them. This is, we are the change makers. Just stick with your STEM jobs, uh, bite your tongue, you are going to make history, you, you, are, you are living the history. Uh, think about the impact you are going to make. So stick with your STEM jobs and be very passionate about it, you are going to change for the few, you know, future generations. So with your experience, do you think we will have human beings living in space? I personally don't see the value uh, of human trying to live out of space. This is, we already, is, we, we are given the best place to live. So that's why I left my aerospace career, because I realized billions and billions of dollars spent to explore aerospace, which I did my part and due diligence. Uh, but more I travel within the, uh, you know, world, I felt that my contribution needed within this world. Um, so rather than striving for living out of space, which is very difficult conditions. You have to spend a lot of money to make it livable. Let's just do it here. One final question. What was it like working with Elon Musk? My experience with Elon Musk was a very positive one. Uh, not the one that the media is portrayed right now. He might have changed. I left SpaceX six years ago. Um, but when I was at SpaceX, um, he was not the richest man. He was very ambitious entrepreneur. He worked very closely with us. I worked in a, a secret project that he handpicked 20 people. He didn't want the NASA to know about this. So I got to work very closely with him. One of the key things that I learned from him is he has this crazy uh, futuristic ideas. And he realized the most important thing is his team to make his dream come a reality. It's not the money, it's not the technology, it's the right team. So I think that's a message for the entrepreneurs. <laughs> Don't outsource your hiring process. Uh, your team is the golden. Melody is now with both feet on the ground and ready for yet another challenge. She's the founding partner of Cambridge Global Ventures. Good luck, Melanie. That was Selinko Life. Let's talk. With Selinko Life Pension Saver, Sri Lanka's premier retirement plan, start planning for a retirement today. Selinko Life, a relationship for life. As we venture onto the streets of Honduras, El Salvador and Guatemala, which are lined with alfombras, which are sawdust artworks adorning the streets, during Good Friday, we take a look at a skilled designer here in Sri Lanka, Tilini Silva, who takes batik and gives it a twist, literally. Here she is on Life in 60. Batik um, has always been around my family. My grandmother's been into it, my mother has. I wasn't really a fan of Batik until I got, like, helped them out and started designing and got into it and tried out different techniques of it. Like, I've done painting, the tie dyes, but it's the bat Batik method, but I've d tried out something different. Designing has always been my passion ever since I was small. 
watching my mom work uh, and um, creating little dresses for my Barbies and it has always been fabric shopping. It's always been around. Such creativity and so glam. Thank you Tilini for showcasing TSS on Life in 60. As we put on this show each week, it heartens us to read the feedback we receive. So do keep writing to us, we'd love to hear from you. Kaleidoscopeweekly1gmail.com is our address or simply scan the QR code, get into our channel and subscribe or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Vaccinated you may be, but safe you have to be. Do sanitize often. I'm very partial to using Amami hand sanitizers. They come in handy sizes and can be kept everywhere in your home or office to make sure everyone is ultra safe. As we leave you with our kaleidoscope takeaway, here's wishing you a blessed Easter. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Henri Matisse.